Hey guys, you all are watching Bar Bros, and I hope you must all be in the pink of your health and must be pumping iron. So today we're going to talk about a very effective workout, uh, shoulder workout. As you know, a lot of beginners and intermediate ask me, and they look up to the senior athletes and bodybuilders. The basic question they ask is, how to look wider and bigger? So. The basic thing is, if you have to look wider, then you need to have a wider back and rounder shoulders. So in this workout, we would be covering our rear deltoids, uh, that is this this part. We have three heads in our shoulder. This one is front deltoid or anterior deltoid. This one is medial head, medial deltoid, and this one is real deltoid, or you can say posterior deltoid. So in this workout, we're going to talk about real deltoid more. As you can see that, if I'm sitting this side, let me let me show you. If I'm standing straight, then you can see that most of the part is covered by medial head and the posterior deltoid. So if you want to look big or you know, if you want to look wider, then you have to work more on your posterior deltoid, which we all neglect somehow. So guys, there are a lot of exercises on the internet also, but you have to prioritize yourselves that which workout schedule you want to opt for. So basically in this workout, I'm focusing more on the real deltoid part. Because when I was a beginner, I used to neglect this part. And in my own gym also, I've seen that a lot of youngsters, you know, they focus more on the their front deltoid and the male deltoid part, but they neglect the real deltoid part. So in this workout, I would be doing two exercises for this part. And there would be a super set of three exercises. Basically, first is your shoulder press, overhead shoulder press. And second one is combined with your front raise and the side laterals. So basically, the rest time would be 90 seconds or about two minutes. So you need to hydrate yourself in between and you need to give some rest to your muscles also. And last we would be doing some shrugs, that's it. Just look out at the form carefully, although we are covered from all the angles, but I'm just showing you again about the overhead presses, that the basic thing, the basic mistake we do, like if we are doing the overhead press, then your arm should not be parallel to your torso like this. They should be at a little bit ahead of your torso like this. You can do it like this. This is incorrect and this one is correct. And let's start the workout. Messing with the money, you ain't messing with decisions. Yeah, you messing with the team, then you messing with the squad. Mess with one of us, you be messing with the mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you start anything, when you start out on a path to anywhere, the first step, the first day, the first minute, you're excited. You're like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to kick ass. The next day comes and you're like, man, this is a little tougher. The enthusiasm from the beginning of the process starts to fade out. You forgot why you started. All you could think about is what's in front of you right now. All you could think about is that next grueling step, that next terrible workout that next day at work that you just can't fucking stand anymore and you forget the purpose of why you started and things become monotonous they become hard they become miserable you become angry you become frustrated anytime you start something new Anytime you move out of your comfort zone, you're going to go through frustration. What happens when you start to feel like a grind and things get grueling and they get gritty and they get tough and it gets harder to move through the process every single day? What happens then? Most people fucking quit. And here's the fucked up thing about quitting when things are really fucking hard because they're about to get easier. They're about to get more fun. And it gets pretty hard. You're like, fuck, this is gonna be really hard. And you start to grind it out. And then all of a sudden things start to click.
any time we we work into a new area of life by moving out of our comfort zone it's going to get really fucking hard really fucking fast that area where it gets really fucking hard is where most people quit we all have times of frustration we all have times of anger we all have times of why me why is this so hard for me but at the end of the day when you start feeling that massive frustration that massive anger that massive irritation and massive stress you are about to have a breakthrough you are about to move through a, an area that most people can't make it through and you've just got to keep moving. Things are the hardest right before they get better. Things are the most frustrating right before they get better. Things are the worst right before they get better. It's hard to remember that when you're going through it. It's hard to remember that things are going to get better, but they are, and this is part of the process. When you start focusing on how bad everything and how frustrated you are and how angry you are and how tough it is, it is really fucking easy to talk yourself into quitting. But when you keep in mind why you started, when you keep in mind what your goals are, when you keep in mind what it is you're trying to accomplish and you think about them and focus on them a day in and day out basis, So guys, I hope you would have found this workout beneficial. Just give it a try for two months and you would see the differences after all. And if you got And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.